Mm. Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Tiny Girl. This is Tiny. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, Divine Tiny Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you and I truly appreciate you. We're here doing a general reading for Virgo. This is for the first, the second week of October 2023. Mm. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What, what overall energies do you have for Virgo? Virgo, I've already shuffled, saved, saved and prayed over your cards, so... Let's get it. What do you have for Virgo? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What do you have for Virgo? You guys are pretty quiet. Possibly staying to yourselves. What do you have for Virgo? Ooh. We have Triumph. This is the chariot. So you guys are definitely determined to move forward here. Ooh, the six. Of pentacles, material and spiritual prosperity. What else? And the seven of cups. This is options. This is decisions. Choosing wisely. And you got moon at the bottom of the deck. Shadow. Maybe some of you guys are. Looking at yourselves in the mirror, I pretty much. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. So let's see what these cards represent. Let's get a little bit more clarification. the chariot here we have the page of swords so someone is spying on you possibly gathering up information on you this could be re regarding a vehicle mm -hmm. you are going to have choices too as for a vehicle you're going to have some choices here Someone is going to be giving you something here. Why is the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here? Uh, the nine of a nine of wands. Hmm. You know, this is you protecting what's yours. This is, you know, you've been fighting for something here you've been fighting for something for quite some time and you're not willing you're not you're not giving up on something here you're not giving up on something because we got the sun card here at the bottom of the deck something here is gonna you're gonna be enlightened about something but at the end of the day your ancestors your holy holy spirits whoever you pray to is definitely listening to you your prayers are going to be answered something you're going to have some abundance and some prosperity here yeah eight of pentacles this is you working hard someone wants to work with you this is you working on something too mastering something I wanted to come. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? With the Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords. The Three of Cups. You're going to have something to celebrate here now. Or there's going to be a celebration. This is rewards. Victory. Healing. 
generosity. I told you somebody's going to give you something. Yeah, somebody wants to give you something. What's the Six of Pentacles about? The Nine of Swords. This is someone here stressing, suffering, worrying. Can't sleep, can't eat. Feeling overwhelmed. And this could be you because you got the Nine of Wands here too, you know. You've been through a lot. Mm hmm. Hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why have the Nine of Swords here? Somebody here could have been given to somebody else. The Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Looking good, smelling good. You're going to be getting a lot of attention here. You got to have a lot of options here, too. Someone could have been, someone could have had some secrets. We got, you got justice here, too. So something is going to balance off for you. If there's any legalities going on, something is definitely going to go in your favor. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The star card. This is healing. This is things going on behind the scenes that you don't know anything about. This is being optimistic. If you're not, stay optimistic about whatever situation that you're going through. The Knight of Swords. Someone who wants to rush in and um, give you some type of information. Um, sometimes this could be a shit starter too. Two of Pentacles. Maybe you're juggling money. Bills, maybe you got a lot on your plate right now, but you're definitely getting a different perspective on things. You got some good news coming in, okay? You got the seven of cups on uh, seven of cups again. You're cutting out things that don't serve you, you're protecting yourself. You are protected. Something that has been at a standstill, um, Virgo, is about to move. You know, there's fast movement coming in towards you, progress, there's action, and there's going to be set and change. So, if you're waiting on something, I don't know. But I'll keep seeing a vehicle here. Something could be going on with a vehicle. Somebody's wanting to give you something. It could be money for a vehicle. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's check it. Let's go to the tarot. Let's see what's really going on here with a Virgo. Let's get some, oh, let me use the stuck here, the fairies, let's use the fairies. Hmm. You guys could have been dealing with somebody, maybe a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that was very manipulative, but played a lot of mind games. Somebody here played a lot of mind games here. Somebody could have been given to other people here. And you, you were determined to move forward. Somebody could have kept their options open here. Mm -hmm. Or someone had a lot of options, but you got options. So whatever somebody was trying to do, definitely you bossed up. The emperor, or this could be the empress too. But you're, you're bossing up. You are definitely bossing up. Like, things are definitely going to be going in your favor. What is the situation here? What is the current situation here for Virgo? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. The nine, the nine of swords. Y'all, there's no need to worry, okay? No need to worry. The life experience. So, y'all could have, something could have, something unexpected could have happened. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. Hmm. There's going to be a life-changing event here for you. This Nine of Swords, this is unfounded fear, okay? This is you focusing on the worst-case worst scenario, but... 
at the end of the day, you're coming to the Ten of Swords where you're going to be at the end of a difficult situation. Something here is definitely coming to an end here because, first of all, you're determined to move forward on a situation or in a situation. But with the Tower coming in, this comes in and takes away things that no longer serve you. So... I wouldn't worry about, I wouldn't worry right now because you're protected, okay? So, unity. This is the higher font. You've learned a lot of lessons. You're very wise. You know, you you are a teacher. Hmm. You guys could definitely... Could be dealing with a Scorpio or air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This unity is doing the right things in the right season. So you're on the right path at this time. You may not think so, but you are. You may be going through something, but it's it's about to end. Whatever you're going through is about to end. So keep this stay optimistic because things are definitely changing. Look at this, the nine of pentacles again. This is you being very prosperous. This is you starting your own business. This is you looking good, smelling good, getting a lot of attention. You got options. And you have the eight of pentacles because you're working hard here. You're working very hard. You're trying to master something and you're going to get, you, you, you're going to get to this nine of pentacles. And the, nine, the next pinnacles, that's ten of pinnacles. That's prosperity. That's, you know, retirement, financial stability. Yeah. I, what is it about this moon? What is being hidden? What is being hidden? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. I see the moon here twice. What is being hidden? Clarify the moon for me, for Virgo. Because this is the second time it has come up. What is being hidden that Virgo needs to know? I need to clarify that like the right way because it's, 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 it's bothering me. The lovers. I see the lovers and nine of wands again. Somebody, hmm, somebody here wants to, wants to still work on something with you. <clears throat> this could be somebody you work with. This is somebody that, with the lovers, this is somebody that has a, a strong connection. You have a strong connection with them, and they got a strong connection with you. It could be that. And this person is doing something behind the scenes. This person is secretly thinking about you. Wanting to, what is the moon? Clarify the moon for me. Yeah, somebody is secretly trying to manifest something here. Clarify the moon. The nine of pentacles again. Whoever this person is, this person is single. Clarify the moon. This person, oh, this person is in love with you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody you walked away from with the Eight of Cups. Yeah. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody wants to speak some truth here. Yep. Page of Wands. Communication is coming in. Some communication is going to be coming in. Something is going to make you feel good, too. Or they want to make you feel good. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, <clears throat> this is somebody that you was fussing, fighting, arguing with. This person possibly put you in competition. Yeah, this person was a, a liar. Uh, uh, uh. This person did things behind your back. This could have been an opportunist. Um, this, this person was very deceitful. This person betrayed you. Now they're trying to figure out if they should come towards you or not. Yeah. You got your guards up. <laughs> this person is this person missed an opportunity with you. And that's what the secret is. This person is still secretly thinking about you. Like, 
for real, for real. Okay, so let's clarify the Nine of Swords. And see, this could be, yep, look, I spit the deck, Ace of Swords, the truth. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. This Nine of Swords could be somebody else. This could be that air sign that's, that can't sleep, can't eat because they... You're on their mind, like heavily. This person wants to partner up with you with the Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you, and they want you to work with them. This person is willing to take a, a risk with you now. This person wants a new beginning with you. This person does not want you to turn your back on them. This person wants a new passionate beginning with you. This person feels that you are their soulmate. And there is a there is something coming in. There's a gift. I told you somebody wants to give you something. You got good news on money. This could be a new job, a new project. And you got the chariot again. Determination. Determined to move forward. And look what's under that. The Ten of Pentacles. Didn't I tell you? You're moving towards that Ten of Pentacles. Financial security. Because this is what you're manifesting. Ooh, Virgo. That's good. That's good. This is good. This is good. Whoever's trying to come towards you. This person could be very toxic, okay? So, but you're not even worried about this. You're really not. No, you're you're taking your you you taking your own risk. You're starting your own new journey. You're starting start, you're starting something new. You have successfully ended something, a cycle. You've rested, you've meditated, you've prayed. You know what I'm saying? You're healing. You're not going back to something that's you know really um tried to mess with your mentality you're not going through that anymore <clears throat> why is this nine of swords here for virgo god angels ancestors holy spirit why is the nine of swords here for virgo nine of swords why is it here Ooh, okay okay so some of you guys you're definitely manifesting financial security you know Maybe you're kind of worried about it now. I don't know. But somebody, ooh, Ace of Wands. Ooh, look, the same thing coming out. Okay, so you know what? This person, this is, you could be thinking about your finances, okay? But no need to worry. But this person is, is one in a family situation with you. This person is really stressing. But see, you're protecting yourself with this nine of wands. But this person, somebody here wants to um they really want to start something new with you. Somebody here is really attracted towards you too. Somebody here misses your sex, okay? Period. But you're no longer waiting on anybody at all. At all. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? See? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You're not working on anything with somebody. You're not trying to work on anything with somebody. This person this person was a wish fulfillment of yours, though, at one point in time. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse? And then somebody here probably didn't want, didn't want to work on something. So you let the tower hit. He was like, okay. Yeah. The five of wands came in the reverse. You don't want to fuss and fight with anybody anymore. You're not doing that. Mm -mm. Nope. You let all that go. Why is the hierophant here? Why is the hierophant here for Virgo? Why is the hierophant here for Virgo? You guys could have possibly been in a commitment with this individual. The six of wands. This is success, victory. But you got the hermit here. Because that's pretty much that's Virgo energy. You 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 had to go. You had to move yourself away from this person. Somebody here liked a lot of attention. Like I said, you could have been in a commitment, but you had to remove yourself from this this individual. Yeah, and focus on yourself, your money, your stability. Yeah, four wands. You possibly could have been engaged, but you had to get away to focus on your stability. <clears throat> yeah, this person hurt you. Three of Swords. But there's some good news coming in, possibly from this individual. Mm. I know that you're not going to let somebody 
see you as an option, but be careful. This person could still have other people, you know what I'm saying, that they deal with. But it looks like you're going to continue to focus on you with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles here and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to focus on you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here with the Eight of Pentacles? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. The Eight of Swords. <laughs> Somebody's in their head. Because you're not giving somebody attention. Somebody here could be... Um, there's a possibility somebody could be locked up. Hmm. Somebody here is definitely going through some karma. They're mentally stuck about you. Somebody here is mentally stuck about you. Could be a water sign. Doesn't have to be. Somebody is definitely still in love with you. But you see this situation as being done over. Uh, see you. Wouldn't want to be you. Why is the eight of swords here? The ten of cups. Emotional fulfillment. That's where you're headed towards emotional fulfillment. Why is the Ten of Cups with the Eight of Swords in the reverse? So you emotionally fulfill somebody here too. This person that feels stuck. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to confess their love to you. Ooh, because they know who you are. You are that emperor. You are that empress. You are that boss person. You got your shit together, all of that, and they know this. Somebody definitely fumbled you. Truly an empress or an emperor. Somebody here was like really retard. Excuse my expression, but who tries to play his game? Who tries to play? Who tries to play game or run game on an emperor or an empress? That is the king of the kings, the queen of the queens. Come on. They know it all, period. Very intuitive. Very passionate, very stable, very grounded. I mean, come on. Wow. And they will cut you off like nobody's, I mean, come on. And this person is in love with you. Like, yeah. And it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. It is too late, Virgo. you like, <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. But you're going to have something to celebrate about. Let's get an outcome for you because this video is going too long. What is the outcome here? For Virgo, God Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is the outcome? Look what's at the bottom of the deck. You are manifesting the things that you want. Manifestation. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? Okay, we got justice. Yep, justice. Things are definitely going to balance out for you. You could be dealing with a Libra. But things are definitely val balancing out for you. If you're going through any legal issues, they're going to go in your favor. Give me some advice. What is the advice? What is the advice for Virgo, God Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit? Okay, you got two cards here. Oh, my God. You definitely got new love coming in, okay? And you have new beginning. New beginnings, okay? New beginnings. And you have fertility, which is the empress or the emperor. Yes. Yes, you're birthing something. You're very strong. Empowerment. You're very strong at this time. The will of fortune, good luck. Good luck, good fortune, windfall. Yes, it's coming for you. It is coming for you. And you have transformation and you got travel in the in the picture here. And the truth. Got the truth. Oh my God. I don't know why I'm pulling all these cards. I was gonna do one for the outcome, one for the um, information, the, the the advice. And look, you got all of this information because that's how it was supposed to be. So it is what it is, Virgo. Okay, but you got nothing but goodness coming towards you. So be patient. Things are definitely about to change. The wheel is in your favor. This is the wheel of fortune. Good luck, okay? 
it's in your favor and it's, it's rolling in your favor so that is all there is to be said virgo if it resonates please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye